Hello, Kevin here, and where am I now? Well, I'm at the parish church of Chidham, and it's St Mary's. And we're going to have a look round this church and let's have a look let's have a quick look round the outside and we've got on the we've got a tower there which is not the normal sort of tower two bells in there with a lovely weather vane at the top it's under a tile roof but it is all flint and rubble as the walls and we're on the south side of the church at the moment let me try and back away a little bit to try and get in as much as I can so that's looking back towards the west end of the church and the porch on the south side let me have a wander around this way so we're coming up to the east end of the church now lovely looking church really as I say you can still see this is much nicer much neater work on the on these flint and stones you can see the stones dotted about in there but it's mainly flint which is a typical Sussex thing let me just go around here the drainage gullies are of a cement render which runs all the way around the outside of the church and I'm literally right up against the the railings of a tomb which is just here so let me just have a wander around a bit more here I can get a bit further away from the church now but we've got the big corner stones on the corners of the walls no windows on this bit at all as we walk round, there's a small doorway here on the north side of the church and one window there and two very small windows there but we're looking up, I've got to be careful because the sun's right up there towards the tower I'm going to try and get in where the sun's not in the full shot it's going to be very, I can't, I can't get the tower in let me come round this way to the west end of the church as I say, the gullies, the cement gullies all the way round that pick up all the rainwater. So this is the west end of the church now. Very tall, plain looking uh, leaded like window. Two big buttresses on this tower end. And there I am looking up towards the tower, the top of the tower with the two bells in. The tower is built of stone with stone capping over it and just here on the corner we've got the way line just there some of these flints have been napped so that's a quick walk around the outside very very plain not a lot of interest there to the to the uh to the church really well, I'm just going into the church now through the porch on the south side and see what we've got in here. Um, oh, just in front of us we've got the font, which I believe is 800 years old. And it's got this rather fancy looking top to it, rather nice. Let's have a little bit of a walk around. We've got some lovely old pictures on the walls here of the church. Some lovely black and white ones. But just here, this is the west end of the church. The very tall, plain, leaded light windows with the two bell cords. And photographs of the, the vicars that used to be here. It's amazing. 
and we've got these stones set into the wall here and it looks as if they've got supposedly coats of arms in the middle but there's nothing on there and if I look up to the ceiling it's another one of these churches with what looks like an upturned hull of a boat wall of wood come through here and we're ended up it's just one central aisle with one small aisle to the left well, it's got another small altar we've got the pl very plain looking pulpit just here but then we come into the the main area quite dark area here whereas we walk in to where the altar is we've got some stained glass windows to the left and to the right. And that's the main east window, east, of, uh, east end window. We've got these coats of arms that are all the way around the church there, around the altar, and on this north side as well. And we've got this rather grand coat of arms just here with all the information there which is in Latin. Up on this wall here there's another one. Uh, MS Henry Bickley Arrogate is that? Again there's a lot of Latin on there which I can't obviously read. We've got the one big arch between the chancel and the nave. But in the main, it's fairly plain. Look at it, I think. Ah, the Teasel people, that's what we're looking for. Teasel people depicting history through 800 years. And that's all the way along the top here. And it tells you what each period is. Robert the Bruce, the Black Death, the year, and it gives you the years. Joan of Arc, Leonardo da Vinci, all up through here. William Shakespeare, the English Civil War, the Great Fire of London, 1066, uh, 1666. Jane Austen, and then up to Queen Victoria. And we've got this rather lovely stained glass window just here. Just above me is another teasel, Winston Churchill. This one, even Paul McCartney, has not been left out. And what's this one? Ringo Starr of the Beatles and then Queen Elizabeth II. There must be another one of the Beatles here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, John Lennon on there. And also just here, Florence Nightingale. Just here on this south wall, we've got this piscina and an ombre. Some of the plaster work is in fairly poor condition as you look round. Going back to the north wall, looking up at this again, with the two faces at the top that look as if they're in pain. And then right at the bottom, as Ian pointed out just now, the skulls, one there and one there. Look. With this coat of arms there. And just in front of me, which Cynthia's just been looking at, is actually the Chidham Peninsula that we've just been walking around. And that's a tapestry. That's lovely. We've had a look round Chidham St Mary's Church. 
fairly plain inside, but quite a nice little church. But anyway, this will be Kevin, Laura, Steve, Cynthia, and Ian saying bye bye, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Hello. If you've enjoyed Kevin's video today, why not subscribe to his Kevin's Rambles YouTube channel? Give us a like and follow us in the future, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.